Ladies and gentlemen of the interwebs, we are back with more Sam and Max Chapter 5, brought to you by GameAnyone.com. I think this is 5. 5, yep. Hurry up. Come on. Yay! Alrighty, we got us a chip to fix them internet goggles. Yay! Hurry up. Didn't mean to break her goggles, by the way. I didn't. Just wanted to fire a rat at her head. Seriously. Who expected consequences to actions? The chip snapped right in. No soldering required. Aw, you know how I like to burn things. Cheer up and put on your orc kicking boots, little buddy. We're going to have to play this game to get to the bottom of the world's internet crisis. It's a good thing your protective hat and my non-compatible brain render us both impervious to hypnotism. And it's a good thing you've been taking those classes in subtle exposition, pal. Now let's go. <laughs> What's keeping those on? Seriously. Hey, neat. I had a dream like this once. You sold me a defective walrus, and then vanished in a puff of orange smoke. Welcome to Reality 2.0, the perfect place of perfect happiness. I'm your host, the Internet. I didn't think the Internet had a face. Reality 2.0 is a lot like Sybil's office. Reality 2.0 is designed to be superior to ordinary reality in every way. Interesting. Sam still looks the same. That's because I'm already perfect. Reality 2.0 simulates your world and links it to cyberspace while providing a clever fusion of popular gameplay styles guaranteed to amuse the statistically average person. It's everything for everyone. Why do you need to hypnotize people with the goggles? Person. We are confident that you will be perfectly happy here and will never want to leave. Ever. These goggle thingies are pinching my head. Please be advised that this is a beta version of Reality 2.0, so some features and locations may be incomplete at this time. Okay. It figures. Reality 1.0 has the same problem. Enjoy your new reality. Hey, wait! Internet? Hello? Nuts. The internet got away. Cat photos, of course. This must be Sybil's cat. Even the alternative, I certainly hope so. Sybil's tattoo designs sure are more animated in virtual space. Make it stop, Sam! I'm getting that roiling, vomitous feeling in the pit of my They're stomach. Exactly animated. You may experience some discomfort as you adjust to your new surroundings. Following this brief acclimation period, you will never want to leave Reality 2.0. Ever. Why are there floaty lips? Testing? Testing! Reality 2.0 has this convenient audio blog feature. This seems like a great way to keep notes and communicate with other players while I'm beta testing. How is she here? I thought she wasn't in the game anymore because we have her goggles. Sybil, you're still here? I didn't think you could be in the virtual reality without the goggles. Hello, fellow travelers, and welcome to Sybil's virtual reality homepage. Ah. Please look around and enjoy. Huh? It's Robo Sybil. Where's the fox? There we go. Damn. It's all VR. Look! Sybil's creepy fox is here! It's like the twisted, collaborative brainchild of Timothy Leary and Lewis Carroll. Exactly what I was Reality thinking. Reality 2.0 emulates the design sensibilities of unavailable authors programmatically by applying heuristic statistical methods to samples of text. Uh, sounds like hokum to me. Nah, sounds more like bunkum. Cacti. I wonder if licking a virtual cactus has the same effect as licking a real one. Try it if you want, but I'm not going to be the one pulling virtual cactus spines out of your virtual tongue. Okay. Ooh, virtuosity. Come on, come on, come on. I'm impatient. Holy crap, it's... her. Hello, dearies. If you have anything to mail... Hand it over for inspection. Are you a male cop? Don't be a dope. She's obviously a female cop. Actually, I'm a computer program. Antibiotic. 
I guard the internet from nasty, crippling germs and diseases and make sure only legitimate mail gets through. What qualifies like religious as chain letters and advertisements for performance enhancing medications? From Canada? You got it, hon. What exactly is the symbolism of that insignia on your armor? You mean you're not familiar with the Armorani Masterworks line? If we pretend we Armorani. know what you're talking about, will you tell us what the heck you're talking about? This is plus one armor. Which means... Which means that any weapon plus one or less will be useless as a butter knife on aged cheddar. You don't even know basic weapon armor mechanics? You boys really need to get with it. Yeah. I don't suppose you know anyone by the name of Myra Stump. Oh, sure, sweetie pie. I have to block a ton of a fan email every day. The resemblance between you and Myra is eerie. Really? Well, it's nice of you to say, dear. The Internet designed this reality, you know. It picked some of its favorite public figures to represent different functions. You know, to make you player types feel more comfortable. Or to make use of voice actors sure they had lying around the studio. Could you please explain your job more thoroughly? My friend here wasn't paying attention. All hail Max! That is how mail gets distributed throughout the entire internet. This is my trusty sidearm with which I beat senseless anyone who would have the nerve to try and put anything contaminated in the mail. And this is my backup protection in case any scum manages to survive the beating I give them. How often does that happen? Never. I have extra proficiencies in weapon, domestic implements. Yay! So, if I was to try to put anything nefarious in the mail, you would... Beat you senseless with my frying pan while my armor kept you from touching me! Gotcha. Yay. Come on, Sam, try it! Few things are more humorous than watching a good friend being splattered on virtual pavement by a virtual frying pan! I'm touched by your deep concern for my well-being, Max. virtual well-being. Do you ever leave this spot? Oh, heavens no! Who'll be here to guard the mailbox? Could guard it for you. You know, if you want to grab a sandwich or something. Not a chance, funny bunny man. Alrighty. No, she's a computer you never program. Take a nap or anything? I don't need to sleep, hun. I stay awake at my post all hours. I don't sleep so either. She's not I north. just know the moment I start to snooze, the ravenous clowns that hide in the closet will come out and eat me. Can't sleep. Max, the closet is full of the collected detritus of our former cases. There's no room for clowns in there. Only in the closet when you sleep, Sam. Right before they leap out and disembowel you so they can use your organs to make balloon animals. Okay, you two wackos definitely need to stay back from the mailbox. Okay. Well, I guess we'll move along now. Don't mail any wooden nickels. Alright. Just a second. Come on. Street not found. Coins. 404. Street not found. It's right here! Well, some of it anyway. Reality 2.0 is currently at beta status. Some features may be unavailable at this time. Hey, wait! Control room. I assume that was lefties. Hey, there's our car. Can we drive around the internet? Hey, that looks like our car! Then I say we claim it. Where are we going, Sam? Ah. Nowhere. Okay. Read only. Okay. Only. Why do we have a website? We've never made one. How come we don't get to make Flint paper? He's awesome. Well, I guess this is what our office would look like if it didn't exist yet. What? You guys, I swear, wherever I go, there you are! Oh, don't tell me you've become a Buddhist! Say, what have you got there, Jimmy? Oh no! Get away from me! Hand it over, mini jerkbag! No way! I stole this coin fair and square! Well, if you stole now, it, Jimmy, you're step we can on do you. this the easy way, or we can do it the hard way. But personally, I'm leaning towards the hard way. It's mine! Beat it! So we're going to have to lure him out. I can't look in the virtual closet. I am saddened by this turn of events. 
Cyber Ants. Reality 2.0 is the first and only massively multi-ant experience. I knew. Girl, you have got to go on a picnic sometime. That's all I'm saying. I knew there were bugs in the system. Can't look at Digital Max's desk. There's no TV in our digital internet. Digital internet in our digital office. Who was it? Our future. Ah, crank collars. I love those guys. <laughs> Mr. Spatula. How is it the Mr. Spatula is here? Tiny waterproof goggles? I can't shoot out of my virtual window. <laughs> this would be a frustrating way to access the internet. Siri, an internet wizard? Oh. Q. Yes. Yes. Q, of course. Well, if it isn't my recurring nightmare in the artificial flesh, the grinning disembodied head of Hugh Bliss. Hugh, I just want you to know that the way you unashamedly use your personal celebrity to thrust your spiritual beliefs on others is an inspiration to us all. I love you, Hugh Bliss. Hi, I'm not Hugh Bliss. I hate you. Wait, you're not? No, silly. I'm the Internet Wizard. I'm an entirely virtual being, you see? But I've thoughtfully taken the form of Hugh Bliss to help you understand my role in your new reality. I still hate you. Okay. What exactly is your role in our new reality? I do just what any friendly neighborhood wizard would do. All of my neighborhood wizards have been evil, so I'm not really sure what that would be. Well, I can answer your questions with cryptic clues, pass out the odd magical item, prophesy, <laughs> the huge. Ah. Oh, supposedly wise wizard, we have a question for you. Hooray! Please select your question. If you don't see it, simply type it in. You can understand what we type? No, of course not. <laughs> but typing is fun and a proven stress reliever. No, it's a source of stress. I think Go to I'm office. about to relieve some stress all over this guy's skull. Why don't you show us something magical? I'll do better than that. I'll give you something magical. Yay! It's not more magic beans, is it? My mom will kill me if I come home with more of those. Or a copy of your no, book. No, it's your very own rainbow! A rainbow of lead-based color for your car. Oh. Uh, you're giving us paint? Uh, 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 not paint. A rainbow customization kit! Okay. Oh, well, that's a whole other story. All right. Just use it with your car to express your inner being with all the colors of the rainbow. Yeah, thank you. Some colors not available when prohibited. Okay, see you soon. And by that I meant I'll see you soon later. It's not time yet. How do we win? Uh, what? Win the game? You know, beat it. Oh no no! In reality 2.0, everybody wins, except the monsters. They die! Killing monsters is right they up our die. online alley. How do we do that? Some are easy, some are hard. But be careful! If you get hurt in Reality 2.0, your original body may feel the blow. Yikes. Howie. Intense. Can you see our future? Why, yes. Yes, I can. I see... Nothing! Now, see, I would have phrased that as... No! No, I cannot see your future! No, I mean I see blackness. Blackness all around. It's terrible. Okay. How needlessly enigmatic. Thank you. Anybody who Go finds again. him creepy, he's generally on my... He's becoming more creepy than amusing. To I'm me, all out so. of questions. But I'm not out of answers! Who cares? Exactly. Let's... Ooh, gumball. I guess this is what video game characters eat when they need to rot their teeth out. Hey, where are the big honking ones that let you eat ghosts? <laughs> Reality 2.0 caters to all manner of life forms, including dead life forms. The eating of ghosts has been disallowed to cater to our spectral clientele. Apparitions welcome. The eyes are always so PC. 
Your progress has been saved. Try doing that in the so-called real world. I can wait. do that any time in the real world of this game, thank you. Straight and narrow. Let's go into Virtual Bosco's. So now I think we are really close to out of time, so I'll see you soon.